Hi everybody, Ace of Hearts Fox here, and welcome to another Fursuit Friday video. In today's video, we're going to be opening up fan mail! Honestly, this is one of my favorite things to do because you guys always send in such nice letters, but also the fact that you all take the time out of your day to mail a physical letter never ceases to blow my mind. But before we open up our first letter, I have to break the magic. I know. I know. It's just hard to open up these with claws. I know. Our first letter today comes from Inktail Nekogami from Philadelphia. He drew a little thing on the envelope. Look how cute. I love when people draw things on the envelopes. I don't know. That always just makes me happy. They even used cute stationery. Look how cute. Dear Ace, I am a long time watcher, first time writer. Well, hi, welcome. Dear Ace, I am a long time watcher, first time writer. Sorry for my terrible handwriting and spelling. It's okay, I have awful penmanship. I wanted to thank you for being a huge inspiration for me and the fandom in general. Well, you're very welcome. Your videos made me want to branch out from art alone and make my own suit. Exactly that. Yes, it's the feeling that counts and I wish you luck on your first suit. My question though is how you managed to get past the fear of public performing. That is my biggest problem and would love to do more public suiting or even some videos of my own. I know it's a little weird getting a question like this from someone older, but you have more experience and there's no shame in asking an expert for help. Anyway, continue being awesome. Signed, Inktail Nekogami. And they drew a picture of us. It looks like we're like a couple of plushy stuffed animals. It says, welcome to the soft life. Soft boys. Well, first off, Inktail, thank you very much for the letter and thank you for the picture. And to answer your question, I used to get super scared to be in front of people when I'm performing. And even when I'm doing live streams today on my own channel, I still get super nervous. I think the biggest thing is to just get in the zone. Because once you're moving around and doing your thing in front of people, then once you start getting really into your performance, then it kind of goes on autopilot. Anyways, I hope that helps. Our next letter comes from Tristan from Colorado. Well, first of all, they sent me this really cute picture. Look how cute. Cute. It's my boy. And he's like a little Ace of Hearts card. And then there's a letter attached to it. Dear Ace, my name is Tristan and I am an American Indian 14 year old who has been watching you for two and a half months. Well, thank you for watching, Tristan. I really like to draw and I'm a very good dancer who likes to dance to prints. Good taste in music. I decided to draw you because you're my favorite furry YouTuber and you're very adorable. So I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope I will meet you at a furry con someday. Your fan, Tristan. Well, first of all, thank you, Tristan, and- Well, first of all, thank you, Tristan, and if you ever do see me at a convention, please feel free to say hi! Also, thank you for this beautiful drawing, I love it! Our next piece of mail is a package that came from Las Vegas! And when you open it up, what do we find? Someone sent me a gift! Oh, how cute! I gotta open up that- It's a cupcake tin! What is inside the cupcake tin? It's an Amazon gift card! Oh, neat! Oh, and there's a gift receipt attached to it, let's see! Hi Ace, enjoy your gift from at the funny wolf one. Oh, I know you. Hi, buddy wolf. Thank you so much for the gift card and thank you for the cute cupcake tin. I love little containers like I love little containers like this because I always try to find some way to reuse them. Our next letter today comes from Andrew in West Virginia. Our next letter today comes from Andrew in West Virginia. Hi Ace, it's me again, Creeper Wolf. Oh, you wrote in one of my other videos. How's it been going back there in California? Is it nice? Yeah, it's pretty nice. Kind of hot. It's always raining back here in West Virginia. It's kind of boring back here. I also won't be able to go to Anthrocon this year. And I've been working on my YouTube channel and creating videos here and there. I also won't be able to buy a fursuit because they're too much. So I'll have to wait two years to make all that money. Well, at least you're being responsible and saving. But what's really boring is knowing that you're the only furry in your area. Well, at least we have the internet. Also, Ace, thanks for being inspiring to me as a furry. Also, Ace, thanks for inspiring me to be a furry. You're welcome. Well, thank you for sending me another letter, and if you're looking for furries in your area, maybe you could try looking for a Facebook group, or maybe see if any local furry meetups can happen in your, like, larger cities. The internet's a really useful tool for finding local meetups and gatherings. Thanks again for the letter! Our next piece of mail today... Oh wait, I should probably... <laughs> Our next letter today comes from Emily, also from West Virginia. Greetings from West Virginia, USA! Well, greetings back from California, USA. Dear Ace of Hearts, my name is Emily. I'm 15 and I've been watching your videos for over five months. I love your channel so much. I subscribe to you. Well, thank you very much. I got into the furry fandom when I was 14, so a year ago. I made and finished my fursuit and character named Havoc the Alpha Wolf. I love you so much. You inspire me. Havoc the Alpha Wolf. P.S. Put this letter in a mail vid. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, it also tells me to look on the back. Oh, they drew a thing! 
I love when people draw things. I don't know, even when it's like a little sketch or something, I just think it's cute that they put a lot of thought into it. Thank you. Our next letter today comes from Kuzo in Cupertino, California. Well, first of all, they drew this adorable picture. Look at that. Look how cute. And there's a letter attached to it. Hey Ace, when I heard about your P.O. box, I had to send you something. So here's a drawing of your Sona. Well, thank you very much. Besides that, I just wanted to say thank you for being who you are. You're truly an inspiration to many people, including me. Well, thank you. That's really sweet of you to say. Your bright and energetic personality complements so well with the passion and hard work in your videos. The charisma that you bring, whether it be a tweet on Twitter or a video on YouTube, always makes my day better. Well, I'm really happy to hear that because being able to do something positive for other people is really what kind of motivates me. Anyway, I hope you like the fan art. I love it, thank you. Also, hope to see you at a con or meet up in the future. I'm curious, if you were to add another color to your persona, what would it be? Thanks for reading, Ace. Feel free to write back. Who's of the wolf? One of these days I need to write back to all the letters in my P.O. box. Well, thank you for the letter and thank you for the fan art and to answer your question, if I had to add another color to Ace, maybe red to make the Ace of Hearts thing actually make sense? That's a really cool question though, and thanks for your letter. Our next letter today is from Annie all the way in Finland, oh my goodness. Hello Ace, my name is Annie, but I usually go by Marble. I'm 14 years old and I'm from Finland. I've been a huge fan of you for a while now, so I decided to draw some fan art. Okay, I definitely have to get these laminated because look at how cute they are. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh man, it's like, look at his little feeties. These are so cute, thank you. I gotta turn these into like little badges to put on my backpack. Your videos have educated and helped me a lot, from how to save money at conventions to how to add personality to a fursuit. I've learned all things furry from you. Thank you for that. Well, you're welcome. I have a question for you. What is the weirdest, wackiest thing you've done while fursuiting? I hope you have a fantastic day. From Marble. Well, thank you very much for your letter and thank you so much for the cute drawings, Marble. I would say maybe one of the weirdest things I've done in suit would have to be um, dressing up and going to my college campus to promote our furry club. Yeah, we had a furry club. And I was one of the only people in the club at the time who had a fursuit, so I volunteered to go to our booth that day when we were promoting our club. I'd say that's probably one of the weirdest experiences, just because I saw fellow college students on campus while I was like kind of just toting my fursuit around. Yep, definitely one of my weirdest fursuiting experiences. Our next letter today was sent with Royal Mail, so I'm guessing that means United Kingdom? Oh, look how cute! They drew a thing! They drew a thing! Let me see if my camera can get that. There we go! Hi! Yeah, they drew a thing! That's cute, it's like folded over like a little... There we go. And it's got another thing stapled to the thing. I know you already made a video on how to get more involved in the furry fandom, but my mom worries a lot about the sexual side and won't let me do anything. Do you know any other way I can get more involved? I'm kind of new to the furry fandom and need some advice since I'm still a little confused. I'm only 12, so I'm hoping I can get involved in a way that's appropriate for my age. I'm also quite lonely, kinda. My friend used to be in the fandom, but I don't think she's into it anymore. So I need some help on getting started and ways to get involved that is possible and appropriate for my age. And when would be a good time to get a fursuit? Lots of love from Cordelia. Love from England. Okay, so it was United Kingdom. Well, Cordelia, first off, I completely understand your parents kind of having their reservations about the fandom. One really good place for younger furries to socialize is Furry Amino. This is a really good app to socialize on because it's more geared towards a safe for work environment. Another very safe for work way to get involved in the fandom is YouTube. Check out all the other furry YouTubers that are out there and maybe hang out in their live streams. If you don't know how, then ask your parents for help. Hopefully that can make you feel a little less alone. But always listen to your parents when they talk about internet safety stuff. Thanks again for your letter, and I hope this helps. Our next letter for today comes all the way from the Netherlands. Oh my gosh, and there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay. Wow. That's really cool. Oh, and they attach like a little drawing on the outside. Oh, and there's a little drawing on the inside. Look how cute. Sorry, as a person who can't draw any and all doodles amaze me. Dear Ace, I'm an animation slash furry geek slash nerd from the Netherlands who really loves your content. Well, thank you. Although I'm quite new to the fandom, I've officially joined about a year and a half ago, 
I've been enjoying every second of it and can't wait to see what incredible projects the fandom will put out in the future. Furry creators like you make my day and I hope that you'll continue to create fantastic videos for a very long time. Also, since I'm such an animation nerd, I'm curious, what are your favorite animated series slash movies? Mine are The Fantastic Mr. Fox, The Lion King, and The Incredibles for movies, and Camp Camp, Steven Universe, and Bojack Horseman for series. I hope this letter will make it into one of your videos. If not, that's cool too. Well, there you go, it made it in. With the best wishes and many hugs, Me Loves Tacos. Oh, that's their online username, is, is Me Loves Tacos. P.S. This letter contains a custom badge and a custom mate notebook. Oh, no way. I'll be perfectly honest, the first thing I heard in my head when I read P.S. This letter, uh, I read P.S. This letter will self-destruct. I'm glad it didn't self-destruct. Did they say a badge and a notebook? Oh, how cute. Oh my gosh. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, and they made me a badge. Oh, it's so cute. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. And you laminated it and everything. They got a little a whoa, and then they got their, their social media steps on it. Look how cute though. Oh my gosh, they got like a little space where I can write my name. And then you open it up and it's got our characters. And the inside even has really, really cute patterns on it. Well, thank you so much, Nuri, or Me Loves Tacos. Seriously, that is so darn cute. Our last piece of mail today is a package from Roner Park, California. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys. Look how cute. Okay, so I knew this was coming, but I didn't know it was gonna look like this. This is so cool. It is a leather bound journal that looks like an ace of hearts. Isn't that adorable? So one of my followers on Twitter, I'll put them up right, right here. They just randomly sent me a tweet and said, do you want a book? And I said, sure. I just thought they were gonna wrap some leather around any old journal. This is so cool. Thank you so much. Now I need to have some deep thoughts to write in my journal. But really, thank you guys so much for sending in your letters and your gifts and all your kind words. Honestly, this channel would not be anything without you guys. So I really, truly appreciate it. Yay, now that the mail's done, I got my paws back. So thanks again for watching this week's First Suit Friday video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to participate in my next P.O. Box video, you can send mail to this address. If you want to participate in the next P.O. Box video, you can send mail to this address right here. I'll also leave the address in the description down below. Also, if you really enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe for new videos every week. And if you'd like to directly support the content that I produce on this channel, my merch store and Patreon links are in the description box below. And speaking of patrons, I want to thank these lovely Patreon supporters for producing today's video. And I want to thank these beautiful patrons for sponsoring today's video. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks again for watching, everybody. My name's Ace of Hearts Fox, and I will see you all in the next video.